So now I'm going to start adding and drawing views of my different components. Now, depending on what you're being asked to do, you might be putting in orthographic views, you might be putting in pictorial views, so you might be putting in 2D views or 3D views. You might have to put in specific kinds of views, um, or you might be asked to add in things like sectional views, detailed views, um, or just your normal basic orthographic projection. Whatever you're being asked to do, read the question carefully and then make sure that you are ticking those things off as you go. So first things first, to add in a view, you're going to go to base. Then you're going to have to go and find your component. So using that little folder icon, now you can see here I've got three different parts, three different single components. And then I have an assembly model where I've assembled those components together. Now, it doesn't matter which one that you use. If you're looking for component orthographics, you're going to want to choose each of these things. If you want an assembly view, you're obviously going to want to choose one with this icon. I'm going to go for the bottle. And so I'm going to click open. Now, it's brought in a view already. If, however, that came in in the wrong orientation, say that came in like that, which doesn't make sense as um, an elevation, makes more sense to have the object sitting in its natural orientation, which for a bottle is normally upright. Um, I can move things around using the view cube like you just saw that I did there. Once you've got it in, you're going to want to choose an appropriate scale. Now, scale is decided by two different things. It's decided by the size of the object that you're drawing, and it's decided by the size of the paper. At the minute, this is a scale of one to two, which means that the drawing that I am doing is half the size of the full scale object. Now, say I wanted this to be full size, I could type in a scale of one, and you can see that my bottle gets a lot bigger. Now, I might choose to use this scale. It depends how much I have to fit on the page. You might decide to do something even bigger, say a scale of two to one. That's way too big. It's never going to fit on my page. I just wanted to show you what enlarging the scale looks like. So I'm actually going to go back to a scale of one because I want you to be able to see a lot of detail on this video. If I was putting multiple components on this page, I might actually choose a scale of one to two like the default was at the start. I could type in one to one if I wanted to, but to inventor, it means the same thing. OK, when I'm happy with my scale, I'm just going to check if I had shaded ticked. What that would mean is that if I'd applied a color, a texture or a material to the bottle, it would then appear to be that color. For an orthographic drawing, I don't want any color on my view. I just want the outline. So I'm going to make sure that that is unticked. I don't want it to be shaded in. I'm going to click OK. And so it's brought in the view of my bottle. Now you can see here these dotted lines, which I can highlight. These dashed lines mean that this is hidden detail. And that's the interior wall thickness of the bottle that you can see there. It's that inside edge um, representing the area where the hollow um, shell has scooped out the inside of the, the CAD model. All right, I don't know why that's just vanished. Hmm, curious. Okay, anyway, I'm going to pretend it hasn't. Um, so I'm going to move it down into the bottom corner. Normally when we're starting, you want to start off with an elevation and you want to start off with it in the bottom corner. The reason for that is it's going to remind you, if I just move this page up a little bit, that if our elevation is our front view, our plan is going to go above and our end elevation is going to go off to the side. Now, in this case, I'm not actually going to do an end elevation because this is a cylindrical component and it's going to be exactly the same drawing type. I'm going to do a sectional end elevation instead, but I'll go into that in another video. So for now, I'm just going to show you how to project a plan up from this um, elevation. To do that, I'm going to go to projected. It automatically has selected the bottle because it's the only view that's there. But if it hadn't selected it, I could click this view so that it would know what to do. So I am going to click to create a view there. If I was doing an end elevation, I could also move it, keeping a little space in between and click again. I am actually going to drag it off to the side here, just diagonally. Click again so that I can get a pictorial or a 3D view. When I'm happy with whereabouts my views are going, I'm going to right click and click create. It's then going to process this and it is going to make these two component drawings very quick, much quicker than doing it manually. OK, I'm actually just going to move this a little bit. So to move it, I'm just hovering over until I get that red dotted line and moving it. I would then go to add in text underneath 
like I talked about in the annotations video. And in a future video, I'm going to talk about dimensioning and line types to follow British standards and conventions.